Hello from Berlin. Today I want to talk about things left behind the scenes. Things left behind those beautiful views from the cockpit and walks around the cities I've never visited before. Today I want to talk about crossing the time zones and how it affects the human body as we pilots cross time zones on a daily basis. Tomorrow I have a pretty tight schedule. I have to fly during the daytime. I will arrive um, late in the evening to Moscow and then I have to drive to another airport to catch my flight back home. The day after that I have a departure at 10 o'clock in the morning to Dallas, Texas. So I will cross eight time zones in one day. So later in this video, I will give you more details how crossing the time zones affects human body. And I will give you some tips how to minimize the effect of a jet lag. 11 o'clock in Berlin, I start my trip to Naples. And later during the flight, I will give you more information about the jet lag. So let me continue. Every human feels the change even if one hour is, for example, twice a year when you have to adjust your clock one hour ahead or one hour behind. Normally our body is adapted to local time zone. Human body is affected by the things we cannot control as sunrise and sunset as well as the things we can control, for example, time when you used to have breakfast, lunch and dinner. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So I'm in Istanbul. It's about two hours from next departure and I'm Istanbul's business lounge, a, br a brand new one. It can accommodate about 800 people because it's about 5,600 square meters. Um, you can really uh, have fun here or you can have a rest in the private um, private zones and where you can even have a shower or you can play PlayStation or play golf. So it's very nice and you can have very 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 nice food over here but let's get back to the subject about the time zones <laughs> so um, every human has different levels of sleepiness and alertness throughout the day this is called circadian rhyme when you sleep during the night or across different time zones your body clock is out of sync most people will experience sleep disturbance difficulty in concentration confusion irritability loss of appetite or even memory problems why so let's assume you fly westwards like i do today so it means that if you wake up in the morning, fly the whole day and arrive to US in the evening. So you'll fall asleep in the local night. It'll be easier to recover from the jet lag. What I usually do, I try to avoid any sleep on the way to US. So today I'm gonna watch movies, edit some videos. Yes, I'm gonna be tired, but it will be easier for me on the next day. So I'm in Houston, it's about 8 p.m. here and early morning back home. I still have one flight to DW. I flew okay, and why is it easier to fly westwards than eastwards? Because when you fly eastwards, you meet the night while you're in flight and you arrive to Europe more or less in the morning or afternoon and you have to stay awake till the local night. Or if you fall asleep during the daytime, then you wake up in the evening and you cannot sleep during the nighttime. So that's the main problem. So after 21 hours of traveling, I have arrived to my destination and I feel pretty tired but okay. It's 11 p.m. local time so I'm going to sleep and I'm gonna be ready tomorrow morning. Yeah, although not 100% but I will. There are also a few tips that you may use while you prepare yourself for traveling. You may adjust your body clock by um, going to sleep early or later according to the time zone you're going to or eating, having breakfast, lunch and dinner according to the time zone you're going to. Also during the flight avoid drinking alcohol. It may kind of make you feel a little bit better, relaxed, but at the end of the day it will be worse, so just drink still water will be better. And what can I say? I have to have a rest. And um, thanks for watching. Hope it was 
interesting and uh, you learn something new.